All right, everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Irvin Harvey. I'm coming at you with another video today on the Power Lead system. Um, today, I'm just going to be focusing on showing you guys how you will go about creating a capture page, squeeze page, splash page, landing page, whatever it is that you want to call it uh, within the Power Lead system. All right, this is one of the one of the uh, powerful assets that the system provides you. Now, if you come to you know the Power Lead system and click on websites here. It's going to take you down to the section and show you all of the different, well, first off here for me, you see I have sales funnels created for you. So these are already completed sales funnels that someone else has already made for these different businesses. Okay, and um, they shared a code with me that I was able to use the same exact sales funnel that they were using for my prospects all right and ideally I would take these same exact share codes and share them with my downline or whoever it is that joins me in these certain opportunities because I mean they convert very well they got a pretty good sales funnel you want to use it you want your team to use it it's going to help your team grow uh, it's, it's going to benefit you it's, it's going to benefit uh, the company that you're promoting all right um, come a little past that are uh, these and these are just the uh, landing pages and sales pages as well so when you first become a member of the power lead system your uh, website section wouldn't look exactly like this one does yours would be a, yours would be a bit different okay and these are the um, power lead system capture pages okay and then any company lead capture pages so you know you can come here and you can choose these for what, whatever you're going to do wh uh, whatever company that's not related to the power lead system um, you see they got the opt-in form, uh, you, you see I have the, the survey form, then they have the opt-in form with the video. So you have different options that you can come in here and choose from. Guys, there's a lot, lot here. Um, also, Lead Lightning capture pages. These are um, pages promoting Lead Lightning of just, you know, for an example. You know, so if you were to have the Power Lead system and you just say, you know, Starting off, Hi, it's Todd Gross. I've I'm going to promote lead lightning or, or power lead system. Then you can just come in and choose these pages to run with, and and you can actually, you know, you can earn by promoting the power lead system itself. So the power lead system is it, it, it works great for any business, but it's I mean it's actually pretty good if you don't even belong to another business and you just want to promote the power lead system because everybody's going to be attracted to it. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, this has something to offer for whatever whatever business that you're involved in. Now, one thing too that you want to make sure when you're going to promote something that's not the power lead system, you want it to say become a prospect for whatever I want. You don't want it on this become a free lead system forever member. All right, so let me go back down here and change this. All right, so become a prospect for whatever I want. Um, and then this first option here where it says, where it has the domains. All right, these are all domains that have uh, that I have created in the system. And they are all already going to, you know, certain opportunities. So, you know, there's a section on the Power Lead system dealing with domains. Uh, you, can, you can come in, you, you basically you create your domain and you lead your prospects to that domain. If you don't have your own domain, you can use a temporary domain with the uh, Power Lead system for about 30 days until you get your own domain set up. So I do recommend getting your own domain. If you already have a domain that you would like to transfer over to the Power Lead system, uh, they show you how to do that as well. All right, and that's within the section, section but that's going to be another subject for another video. Right now, we're focusing on web pages, and being that all my domains are currently being used. I'm going to come here to my uh, to web pages, go down to create web pages, and I'm going to create a subdomain with with the domain that I already have within the system. Okay, so we're going to use a custom template that uses an opt-in form. All right, because we want to capture our prospects' information. All right now, um. Here I showed you in a video before. This is the video background. I choose this one, and and it, and it, you know, it's just a moving, very attractive 
video in the background and I can either use the one that they ha have within the system or I can go to you know YouTube and find me a nice video or something like that and I can plug that in the background you know as well it's good to have something that pretty much goes along with what you're saying um, this is just a, you know pretty much regular opt-in form with the with the picture background this one you know where you can you put your video right here and then you have your opt-in information to the side this is for you advanced users over here you know you, you you're uh, I guess you know proficient in, in HTML coding you come here and you pretty much create your own from scratch all right so I mean there are a lot of different type of pages that you can set up here but for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna go here all right full screen image um, Option one, as you see here, is the, um, first name and email. Uh, option two is name, email, and number. And option three is it's just the it's just the email address. Now, um, you know, I wouldn't ask for the name, email, and number at all unless um, having the prospect's number was an absolute necessity. Because basically, the more criteria that you ask for, the fewer opt-ins that you you're likely to receive. Um, I mean, but still asking for name and email does have its benefits because it personalizes the connection that you're trying to make with your prospect. So, you know, in your autoresponder campaign, if the individual enters their name, then their name is, is, is going to show up, you know, in, in, in your autoresponder messages. So, like I said, it just personalizes that connection and you tend to get, um, you tend to, to, to get a, you know, higher conversion rate that way. So, I'm going to go with name and email. For this video all right and right here where it says superior traffic right above your your um, URL um, that's that's where that words it's going to be and I can come in here and change it you know to whatever I want I'm just going to leave it as superior traffic okay. now see here get paid with urban .com. that's my that's my domain name I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to create a temporary domain name. It's just going to say ABC. <laughs> get paid with urban.com. It's just an example. All right. Um, I'm probably not going to select to send an autoresponder campaign, but the, this is where the autoresponders are. Okay. And a lot of the campaigns that you see in here are already provided within the system. I mean, look, they have them here for all of the holidays. Uh, for lead lightning if I'm going to promote lead lightning all right lead lightning and my primary business uh, lead lightning opt-ins lead lightning you know such and such so those are those are already provided by the power lead system autoresponder campaigns you know 17 messages I don't I don't have to do it the work is already done for me guys I just come in here I just create the capture page for what I'm going to promote and and, and the rest of it is done for me. You can also come in here and create your own capture page. And if you've received, I mean, your own autoresponder email campaign, and if you've received the share code from another member or for you know their sales funnel or whatever, then those their email campaign, if if they create one, then that will be here as well. Okay, right now I'm not going to elect to send an autoresponder campaign because we're just focusing on making the landing page. All right, for the purposes of, of this video okay and then your next option you come down here and I have the option of sending this to a company that I already promote that I have plugged within the power lead system all right so right here it says four corners this is some of the other uh, things that I have plugged within the system um, a default sales page and then I can go back and I can choose the sales page and what I want to put onto the sales page all right um, a page within my website or I can come here and plug in the URL where I want to send my prospect to um, right now I'm just gonna leave it right here okay we're just gonna make this a, a four corners capture page and then you have your SEO here you come in and put you know your keywords in your description um, that's not really the way I mean you, I'm, that's not a big deal to me because that's not the way that I'm going about getting traffic so you can come in you can do that it doesn't make too much of a difference though in my opinion I'm just gonna leave it blank okay and then these are some you know different uh, you know backgrounds I can I can I can choose so um, I kinda like this one I'm just gonna I'm gonna come in here and change this background a bit alright 
Uh, let's see here. And I'll, um, let's make the screen a bit bigger here. I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to I'm going to keep it simple. But I'm just going to show you that you know you can just come in here and you can just change change it to your liking. So I'm going to say discover how to turn eighteen dollars. <laughs> to 1000 per month in, in 28 days this is this this is just just an example guys just to show you i mean you come in here you can you can change this to, to whatever you want all right and um real real really professional looking capture page that i really basically did virtually almost nothing to all right um i like this down here you know i just think that's very professional very catchy looking let me back out here save changes move on to the next step and voila okay now I can view my web page my web page is already online abc.getpaywithirvin.com here it is okay now uh, let's see here I'm going to enter in my email address oops oh wow no wonder I wasn't even supposed to answer my, my email yet Okay, here we go. Let's see where it takes us. All right, so and it takes them right here. Okay, to to my four corners, uh, Lions Group page. Now, generally, this isn't where I would I would take a prospect. I would take a prospect to, uh, to a sales page. All right, that that explains and and shows you. To, to the program or something like that because if as far as four corners go if I'm just going to bring them directly here um, it, it kind of leads them to do more of the work and figuring out on their own and and you wouldn't get as many prospects that way but it's just go just going to show you how you know whatever you have set in place that's what you would lead your prospect to guys so, I mean this is just goes to show you how fast and easy you can create a capture page within the power lead system I mean that took me all of with about maybe five or six minutes of that and a lot of it was because you know I was explaining things to you once you get familiar with this system I mean you can just come in here and and plug in right away guys and, and get going you can create your pages for days and this is why the people who use this system love it so much and have so many great things to say about it all right, so if you are uh, interested in, in, in getting the Power Lead system, I'm going to have a link below this video where you can uh, actually sign up for the Power Lead system for yourself. I recommend it, guys, for any business that you're a part of. And I also recommend you telling you know the people who you have in your downline or your partners in business with you to get the Power Lead system as well. All right, easy money.